And Jason, it's not just the rain, it's the wind and the power outages combined. Central Maine Power and Versant reporting around 10,000 Mainers in the dark as of right now. Yeah, 61 mile per hour wind gusts in Bar Harbor right off the coast there in a buoy. That's no joke. No. That's no run of the mill storm. I mean, you know, this is coming in. It's a tag team. We had a cold front to the west, the remnants of Philippe from the tropics coming up, kind of merging. And that's what you're seeing right now. If you're looking outdoors, Bitterford, well, it can't see much because obviously the rain is starting to come down pretty good. But the southern coast is getting the least of the worst of this storm. Uh, it's really the mid coast Penobscot Bay area up to down east and the highlands. Eventually the county heavy rain, wind and waves overnight. Some power outages as Sam is talking about and flooding. We do clear out early tomorrow though, but a lot of those leaves are coming down. So the backpack blower and the rake, you're going to need them tomorrow. Here's the rain starting to get awfully heavy in the western mountains up in the highlands, but really the Penobscot Bay area is where it's already come down. But I want to take you up north here and show up towards the boundary plateau, the northern highlands, the north woods. It's starting to really come down here. Gain that enhancement up against the mountains. It's being just wrung out and castine more than three inches or so around the Penobscot Bay region of Maine is where the rain is coming down heavily. Storm reports here focused on the Penobscot Bay back to a portion of down east. And there it is a tree down on a telephone pole in Town Hill. Uh, that's one report west of Bar Harbor. There's a 61 mile per hour. Now you get to the mid 70s for hurricane force. This is no joke here from that buoy just northeast of Bar Harbor. You're going to watch out around Acadia right now. They're getting pounded with wind and rain accumulation for rain. The last few hours more than three inches where you see the yellow into this orange shade three and a half northeast of Rockland close to Route 1. So showers and they're heavy at times. Here's the center circulation Gulf of Maine. That low is the front. This low starting to team up and to get absorbed and come together means tonight in the hour by hour. It's going to still rain heavily from about Augusta, Waterville, Greenville, Millinock and up north. Now the wind at two in the morning is going to be on the northeastern side of this. So up in the county, especially Caribou down to Callis in Washington County, they'll get the uh, wind, but the rain turns off around six, seven o'clock, except up in the north woods. And then by the middle of the day, sun is out and the leaves they're down at that point. So you're definitely thinking about how you're going to get those leaves away from the drains and everything so we can get kind of cleaned up. But as far as the rainfall rest of tonight, another two, three inches locally around Millinocket Lake there and Katahdin coming down and the wind into two o'clock in the morning carved out here up in the county back to Washington, Hancock over towards Bangor and Penobscot, Piscataquis. You're going to see that wind 30, 40, 50 miles an hour. That's why you have the wind gust and the high wind warning is up for Arosta County tonight. So we're not done yet. Gale warning is up. Watch for those big breakers uh, easily going to be around 10, 15 or 20 feet tonight uh, breaking into the rocks there around Acadia. We clear out tomorrow though, and then we got the holiday on Monday. It's a federal holiday, correct? Uh, Tuesday showers late 50s to 60s. Notice how we are no longer running to the mid 80s. Those are gone. The 70s are gone and now the 60s are almost gone. As Sam, as you know, around here, we can drastically go from mid 80s to just barely getting the 60s. But I'm not complaining yet because I looked at the uh, sneak peek of the next week forecast. Mm -hmm. I won't talk about how cold it's going to be. Yeah, I mean, we got really lucky with those 80 degree days this past week, even though it is October. So I guess, you know, our luck had to run out at yes, some sir. point. All right, Jason, thank you.